Hello everyone, we will continue the change request to as a part of sales order report. Now it's a turn to do the unit testing by ourselves. Firstly, a technical person should do the unit testing. Then we will assign to the functional person for the unit testing and integration testing. And whenever we will start with the unit testing, first biggest loophole will come in the unit testing itself. And that's why I parked and I have not covered that because so that we can understand that, yes, we should do the unit testing. A technical person cannot blindly assign to functional person for the testing, at least run some scenarios and then assign to the functional person for the testing. Suppose I will put a breakpoint in the user command. Now suppose I am running the report. Suppose as of now I am putting 23rd August. For order number 77, 20 is coming. For order number 78, 10 is coming. Now, I am not selecting any record. I am blindly clicking on to this invalidate button. Yes, user can do this. And now you can see we have we blindly click on to the which button invalidate button. During the change request one, we have already written the logic. Yes, if you are selecting the rows, they will go to LT temp final. If you are not selecting the rows, each and every record will go to LT temp final. Suppose I'm putting a breakpoint here. I'm doing F8. Now I'm on R underscore U com is equal to invalidate. Now you can see in LT temp final, you have both the records. Now we are putting a loop onto LT temp final. If we are selecting the records, LT temp final has the selected records. If we are not selecting anything, LT temp final has all the records. Now we are putting a loop on LT temp final and we are filling invalidate internal table. Just see, we filled LT underscore invalidate internal table. Now, these two records we are inserting to our database table. And have you seen our testing failed in the first case itself? Customer will say, I have not selected any record Still, still the records are going to database table. So our testing failed in the first scenario itself. So it means we missed the validation part itself. If user is not selecting any record and clicking on to invalidate button, we should give a message to the user that please select some record. If user will select the record, yes, this scenario will never, never come. In LT temp final, we will always, always get the selected record. If you remember during the, during the change request one, this was our requirement. If user is selecting the records, the selected record should display in Adobe form and smart form. If user is not selecting the records, all records should display in smart form and Adobe form. And for that, we have written the logic. If user is selecting, LT temp final has selected record. If user is not selecting, LT temp final has all the records. Now, in this case, we are blindly clicking on to invalidate button how how we can go for invalidation if we have not selected any record so the first point is if user is blindly clicking on to invalidate button 
without selecting the record, we will give a information message to the user. That's why I'm saying never, never forget to do the unit testing because you will understand at that point only how, how it is working. Now I will write a code for the same. I will go for change button. Now we will simply write the code. In if user command is invalidate, yes, and no record is selected, we will give a information message to the user. If any of the single record is selected, yes, everything is working fine. And you all know very, very well. Yes. What is read table? Read table always, always help us to check the, check the one, check the exactly one matching record. Read table always, always return the first matching record. Just think if any of the record is selected, yes. Size sub bar C will be always, always zero in case of read table. There is no need to go for loop at all. With the help of a read table itself, we can check. Yes, because if a single record is selected, there is no need to give any error. If none of the record is selected, then we need to give the error. So how, how I will write the logic. I will simply write read table. What is the internal table? LT temp final. I will write into WA underscore final. And I will write with key. And I will write select is equal to capital X. If any single record is selected, any of the record is selected, this code should execute. So I will write if size sub R C equal to zero. So this code should execute. If None of the record is selected. If in LT temp final, none of the record is selected, this rule read table will give the size sub bar C other than zero. So I will simply, simply write else part. And we will give a message to the user. Now you all know we should never, never hard code a message. We will give the message through the message class. I will go to SC91 transaction code. And yes, I will give a message. This is our message class. And we will give a message. Please select at least one record. Please select at least one record. Now I will go for save. I will save into transport request. Now I will use in my program. What is the keyword message? We will give information messages. Because it, there's no need for error. Yes. If we will give the error, user has to run the program again. I002 and we will give the message class. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. Okay. This is Adobe form. This is smart forms. Okay. We need to go for one more elif. If invalidate, 
then it will check for read table if size sub r is equal to zero if means any of the record is selected this logic will execute in the else part it will give the information message now i will show you in the debugging mode is it working fine or not i will run suppose i will give today's date only now we are not selecting any record I'm clicking on to this button directly to invalidate the rows. Now, whenever we have not selected any record, I will just directly come here, F8. R underscore UCOM is invalidate. Now you have not selected any record. It means read table will be failed, failed. Because in the read table, what is the condition? Select is equal to capital X. So size sub R C will be other than zero. And it will go to else part. And we are getting a information message. Please select at least one record. I will go for OK. Now you can see if we are selecting a record, now, if I am clicking on to invalidate button, now I will do F8. Now, in this internal table, we are selecting record. So, you can see size sub RC is 0. Our normal logic will execute. And you can see that record invalidated. And we can check in the table as well. So if I will go to invalidate table, now for 77, we have both the records. Now we will check the various scenarios and that part we will continue in the next video. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we check the various permutation and combination and our case study failed in the first point itself. If none of the record is selected, we provided a error message. In the next video, we will check the various scenarios and then we will release the transport request. So that's it in this video. Thank you.